What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Iceberg Slim, aka Coach Donna, and I'm here with my guy. It's Trader Pro with a zero at the end, man. Hey, we reacting to some One Piece Stampede. Personally, my favorite One Piece movie. Um, I like One Piece Red. It was called Film Red, right? Yeah, Film Red, Red. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, that was cool. It was cool, but it'd probably be lower on my list. This one still has. Goddamn singing this shit. <laughs> this one's still definitely taking the mantle for number one One Piece movie ever in my eyes. Uh, a lot of people fuck with Gold. A lot of people fuck with uh, Film Z. Also good picks. But this movie has Zoro versus Fuji Tor and Mihawk, and I got hyped as fuck when I seen it. So I know y'all gonna react hyped as fuck when y'all see it. Let's get into it. All these niggas are in this movie. Oh, when this nigga pulled up, I got so hot. <laughs> that nigga Bertone is funny, bro. Mm. Mm -hmm. Damn. Wait strong. Wait <laughs> that nigga strong. Damn. This he, cold he, ass he, nigga. Did he pull up? Cutting chips in half. <laughs> no, give a fuck. On this rowboat. <laughs> These niggas still scribing. Fucking video right? Big props would cut that hole in half. And the devil's the problem, though. It did. This but you thing. know who came in eradicated. You know who can pieces. handle that shit, though? It's a pieces for one sword. I don't even jump to show this nigga up and left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boom, Trey, talk to me. What That's you think about seeing that scene? What were your thoughts when you first seen it? That's definitely a teaser scene. It's a teaser like a motherfucker. It was. Because I got so hyped when it came in the movie. Because that was damn near like the start of the movie. That was like in the first 10 to 15 minutes. It was. Um, that clown. But when it happened, I got I got so hyped. Because even at the end of the fight, we already know how far Zero has like come as far as strength wise. And we thinking, damn, okay, I can't wait for him to fox me off. We still see how, far, how much more. Bro, it's a huge gap. And that shit is crazy. I don't now. I do know the gap for sure has decreased a little bit since he got um, what's it called? Asura. What's the name of that short? Uh, Asura. 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 Yeah. Um, and you know they learn. Well, shit. He has conquerors hockey now and shit. Um, so the gap definitely has decreased some, but I feel like we still don't know just how much because he me just made that shit look effortless. Like nigga didn't even jump and he sliced that meteors into bits. Walked away. Just left. <laughs> Nigga pulled up and slight swung his sword once, then left. That was the job. He was done. Mm. Um Yeah, bro. Definitely my favorite swordsman. Uh in the whole show. Uh my top three favorite swordsmen in anime for shit show. Mihawk? Uh Zero. Zero. Uh Mihawk, the strongest swordsman in the show, without question. Um but, like, when I just say something like So, my if they favorite, finish that fight, who are you taking? Fujitori or Zoro? Ooh, that's a good question. Because <sighs> they look kind of even right there, huh? Uh, no. Oh, no? Would it look lopsided to you? Oh, Fujitori looked like he would have got him. Mm, With that before, meteor, nigga? If I'm Fujitori, saying before, if, before that meteor dropped. If Fujitori drop. had summoned a fucking <laughs> Yeah. And that nigga could... Just cut that home in half. If he has the ability to summon a meteor alone, mm -hmm. 
within his abilities, mm-hmm. what can Zoro do? Um, I think I think Fuki Toro coming out on top. I think Zoro still got a ways to go. That's a, that's a, that's a fair that's a fair assumption. I would say if Zoro is no uh, Zoro may be number like number three swordsman in the world behind Fuki Toro and motherfucking Leo. Okay, now boom. See, I'd be on board with you, and I'd agree with everything you were saying. If they didn't already tell us who was the number two swordsman in the world, and me two? personally, I feel like Fuji Tor has shown me way more than a number two nigga. Uh, the nigga we seen in Marine Ford, who's like Diamond. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's the, the nigga that was fighting Mihawk. The only nigga bold enough to fight Mihawk. And I've seen Fuji Tor do a lot more live shit. But I mean, if that's the ranking system and he's two, we don't even know if Fuji Tor is on the list. So. I don't know. I think that Devil Fruit is definitely OP. But if we just talking like swordsmanship, like say that meteor never came, right? And mm-hmm. it was no Devil Fruit. They just went mono mono, just straight swords. I feel like that hoe is kind of close. Um, Kujitor definitely has, you know, experience on him. He got some age on him. Got a little weight on him too. But if we taking today's Zoro from the manga, I, I, I feel like I'm going to take today's Zoro. Mm. No, that's One Piece Stampede Zoro. So I, I might be on your side with that. Fuji Tor taking it home to Dub. Uh, just because Zoro's gotten a lot stronger since then. Um, but shit, honestly, we don't even know if Fuji Tor got stronger since then either. So it's, it's a lot to be desired. I definitely can't wait to find out in the war. Because that war is coming. Don't forget, we've been talking about it for years. For, for chapters, for episodes, for arcs. It's definitely coming. Fuji Tor is for sure going to be there. Um... When it does, I would like to see Fuji Tor fighting. Cause you made an interesting point earlier today when you said you think Garp, Fuji Tor, and Cody gonna be on uh, you know the Straw Hat side towards the end of the war once they find out the big secret in the Boy Century. Um, if Fuji Tor was on their side, I'm trying to picture who he would fight. Cause I would like to see him fight Zoro again in the war. Before Zero goes to me, I got another question. Do you no, I think you bring up some good points, though. I don't know. I guess we're just going to see what we find out at the end. Um, but I definitely can't wait on that to happen. Let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. That's it. Peace. Drop them theories, man. I'm always just saying. Definitely drop them theories in the comment section. There's a lot of them going on. And we'll even reply to them because we, we got the theories of ourselves, honest. But until next time, peace. We just venting. You know, I was just venting, man. You know. Looking for